Leo, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. Well, if you're watching this, Leo, trust that there is a message here for you, and that's the one that wanted to jump out, so I'm using it. Now, if you're regular, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. Trust that there is a message here for you, Leo. Sometimes the whole thing uh, resonates like a personal reading, and sometimes it's just the piece that you needed. My name is Bronya. I am an intuitive tarot reader, and I've been around here for a little while, and I'm really looking forward to bringing through this message for you. And it's loud and clear. Expect powerful change. It feels a little bit Wheel of Fortune-esque to me. Let's see if that uh, comes through in your reading. Uh, the new moon eclipse energy. If we think about an eclipse, right, it can change night to day in just a split second or a few, few minutes, let's say. It's probably a little bit of exaggeration. Um, you know, so we've got transformative energy that can be quite quick. A real turnaround here. Expect powerful change. Let's move forward, Leo. I'm using the Divine Initiation Oracle. I'll be using the Ethereal Alchemist Tarot, and I will link these beautiful decks down below in case you're interested. They are stunning. If you know me, I collect beautiful decks, and you might want to add this one to your collection. Lunar Initiation. And we see such a similarity here in these energies. Now, we had the, uh, we had the Solstice Full Moon, when the moon moved into cancer in the weekend. So maybe there was something that was either revealed to you uh, or maybe, you know, a really big sort of um, epiphany or intuitional insight that has been kind of coming through for you across the last few days that is possible with this energy. And, you know, of course, the solstice, you know, it brings renewal. It brings a real reset. So I just think we've got like a really big, yeah, personal life reset energy here. And you're being asked with the moon energy, lunar energy to go deep, right? To really go deep and trust what you're feeling in your deep subconscious or emotional landscape. All right. Let's keep going. I have got the first tarot card coming out and it's the Six of Pentacles. So this is a real tables turning energy for me. I think that there was a situation here that you've been feeling out of power or not receiving. Probably something to do with resources or material reward, success, money, maybe financial gain. Could be career progression with this card as well. And you're really wanting, you know, that to turn around and to actually receive, you know, what you're worth here. So expect powerful change. It feels like things can shift here. Uh, it's a real energy of, you know, receiving. Oh, the universe. Absolutely. There's such a, you know, multiverse energy here. Now, I just want to say that the universe is the last of the major arcana cards that comes after judgment right so there might have been some kind of judgment call being made by you or maybe an authority or an organization or your employer you know it seems around the pentacle themes here housing maybe um that is going to really bring you into a new expansive cycle i mean that's the universe for me it's at the end of an era and the beginning of a new one so it's asking you to be open to very big you know profound changes right now and you know sometimes when we are presented with a door that is opening you know it can be you know it can be scary to move through it you know a lot of things can arise within our spheres worries you know imposter syndrome there are many different examples of that so of course we have to have the bravery to move with it Oh, two of cups. Gorgeous. Whatever it is, you know, it feels like we have a, a new partnership forming here that feels solid. So this could be you feeling more in alliance with, you know, an employer signing a new employment contract to Six of Pentacles become more um, autonomous or, you know, in a more powerful or leadership position. That would be an example of the energies I'm seeing here. You could be, you know, partnering with a like a real estate uh, organization or finance institution with the two of cups six of pentacles uh, energy here after maybe you know passing that judgment you know that judgment energy that we talked about so two energies have come out here I have the strength card here the Leo energy number eight 
and I have the Ten of Pentacles. Both of these energies would say to me a huge increase in your stability, security or financial abundance through having the strength, courage and bravery to move forward and you know soothing our inner demons and inner beasts under control that might be telling us look we should just stay you know where we are because it feels more comfortable more secure but I feel that for most of you you are you know wanting this change and you have been working to call it in so the ten of pentacles is associated with long-term success long-term stability but of course with any new opportunity or change that opens up you know we don't necessarily you know have the guarantee and that's where the trust comes in to move forward to move forward the moon even when we are not sure of the outcome because it is a little bit in the shade right now okay the moon says all will be revealed i'm going to finish on the moon because i've just got this trilogy of deep intuitive moon energy talks about hidden blessings for me it talks about new paths being revealed sometimes it can talk about depths and undercurrents so if you are signing a new contract just make sure that you get full clarity and disclosure on details and expectations and trust your intuition but i feel that this is a powerful change it's going to initiate you into a new sense of power and long-term resource success so with that said leo i am going to leave it here and uh I do hope you enjoyed this reading. If you'd like a personal reading, the first link down below will pop you over to my website. You can check those out. Um, what else? I will link you to my Instagram and TikTok accounts. Very active and interactive over there. You'll also find my free Learn Tarot Quick Guide linked and my paid courses if you would like to get started reading the cards for yourself. So I'll leave you to browse those. I'm wishing you so much love and magic, Leo. Do take care. Bye for now.